holy fucking shit. I gotta say this. Unless the city or the province actually does something to further restrict that spread of that virus, it's really gonna cause a lot, be a lot of cause and concern for just about everyone. I'm a, more than a bit concerned about it too, you know? It's not just myself, there's many more that are concerned. They got mothers, fathers, grandparents, they got family members that are vulnerable. The ones at long term long term care facilities and that. That's another big one. And it's a bit of a problem, you know? Now, as for the uh spread of the cases and those delusional uh fucked up fringe groups, you know, the truces that are protesting the uh so called lockdown. No, sorry, it's not a fucking lockdown. People are allowed to leave their homes. People are not getting arrested on the street and thrown in jail immediately without all due cause and all that just because they left their home. No, it's none of what the batshit delusional fringe groups are act and tr truthers are actually putting out there. That's not happening. The government is not harassing people like that. They assume it's like a dangerous, insidious organization. It's not. And yet again, they also deny scientific proof that COVID-19 is a pandemic. And pandemics cannot be fucking planned out. They keep putting out that misinformation and I'm quite frank to be very very fucking sick of it I'm very sick of it seeing that bullshit being spread around because it's nothing but bullshit a pandemic is a pandemic it was declared in March by the World Health Organization and because of how fucking fast that virus spread and if nobody's going to take it seriously it's going to keep spreading it's going to keep going everywhere you gotta take this shit seriously. It's not a fucking joke. Come on. Be rational here. It's not a scam or a plan. The virus... The, it, the virus fucking exists, alright? It's a novel, unknown coronavirus. It's in the same family as SARS, but far more insidious. And, uh... Unlike SARS, this one has not been able to get isolated yet due to how fucking fast it's mutating and replicating to avoid being caught. It's like a, it's like one of these incredibly bad serial killers that took about 30 or 50 years to catch. Look it up. History doesn't lie. It's like one of those ones. I don't think they're ever going to catch or isolate it, to be honest. It's going to take a very long time before they eventually catch it. And isolated and come up with a vaccine all these experimental vaccines they're doing all the clinical trials they're doing that's also going to take time because the damn thing keeps mutating how the hell else are they supposed to catch it it's going to take a frustratingly fucking long time and i don't know what else to say about that it's going to take a frustratingly long time yeah that's my mouse but anyways whatever uh thank you for watching that was my video response Feel free to subscribe for more. And my thoughts and opinions are my own. Not for the delusional, batshit, irrational fringe. Peace out.